Alright, um, it's uh, Thursday and uh, it's late in the evening because I had a lot to do today and I just didn't get around to this until now. And uh, so I'm going to start off, I couldn't find my small brush, so I'm going to have to go with this uh, one here. And uh, what I'm going to do is just to make it less confusing for me and uh, my eye and for people who see this uh, piece, you know, you'll always get the question, what is the dark stuff? Well, the dark stuff's wax. And I use the wax because it's... When it sets up, it sets up hard enough that I can actually daub, uh, you know, melted clay on this and make the fur look like fur. Um, it's a little technique that hopefully will work out on this. But uh, first things first, I'm going to paint this. And let me explain. I went to a, a local hardware store and, and took a sample of the clay. And they matched the color so that... Uh, when I do this, it doesn't look like it stands out. And then when I'm actually showing in a gallery, and I have parts of it in wax, which you do all the time, and because wax is used because it holds its uh, uh, shape better than clay does. It's just a different color, and if you got a different color, then people ask, what is that? So, to reduce questions, I paint it. And it doesn't hurt the piece because, you know, quite honestly, it's cast in the bronze, and once it's in bronze, uh, it doesn't matter what material or what you did to it. Uh, it all comes out like bronze in the end. You know, take a couple of coats of this to get to where I like it, but... Uh, And see if it gets on the clay, you just scrape it off. It doesn't hurt the clay, it just... Uh... And the type of paint that I use is uh, interior flat finish uh, paint. You can just clean the brush off in your sink, and which, if you're married, will make your wife really happy. It doesn't hurt the sink, it just would, you know, irritate her. I'm not married, so I don't worry about that. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I can I can actually see the shapes better now, and uh, I can see that it's not going to be bad once I get the the fur on the the uh, thing. Uh, there's a little vacant area underneath there, but I can fill that in with clay real easy, like. Because the one thing you want, I mean, you're going to have a vacant area here, but I'm going to fill it in so that. Uh, It'll be easy to cast. You any any vacant areas, uh, like the real dark, I mean, real deep crevice between the skin and the body. Um, well, they just tend to make it harder for the mold maker, and everything that's m hard for the mold maker makes it more expensive for me, and that makes this piece. It's already going to be an expensive sculpture to to cast up as it is because, quite honestly, it's just uh, it's just the subject matter that makes it hard to cast. But uh, I'm going to let that sit. Now, um, I want to wish you all a very happy and joyful New Year and a safe New Year. Um, I'm just going to basically be here watching movies. I've been recording movies uh, and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm going to have lots to entertain myself. Um, I don't get excited about the New Year. It's just another day. But... Uh, when you've lived through 67 of them, <laughs> and this is my 68th year coming up, uh, you tend to uh, stop counting them. All right, everybody. Happy New Year.
and I'll see you in 2013. Great number. Mm, mm, mm. And we have that number the whole year. All right. But I'm not superstitious. Nope, nope, nope. Not, not a bit. Oh, let's, let's see what this looks like up here. Hold on, just before I go. That could be bad. Position it differently. Now, I think... Now, it'll be positioned someplace around there. All right, Happy New Year. And that's the end of 2012.